All right, what's up everybody? In uh, today's video, I wanna talk about how to draw cars. Look at my terrible handwriting. Fast. Look at that. Bam. Uh, I wanna talk, talk about how to draw cars fast, right? So um, a lot of you have been asking um, about just sitting down and cranking them out really quick. Um, I want to illustrate um, two points. All right, here's the first one. Um, have a focal point. Now I know that's kind of universal, everything should have a focal point, but what I mean is, um, if this is your car right here, this is a really fast one, right? It kind of looks like a weird Hot Wheels thing. If this is your car, you are only gonna put detail in a focal point here, and you're gonna kind of let the detail fade away. Or if, this, or if your focal point was here, you would put the detail here. But you're gonna spend probably 70% of your detail work in this focal point area, and the rest is gonna fade away. So you're not gonna spend as much time rendering details on this rear wheel as this front wheel. You're not gonna spend as much time doing color work on this backside as you are right up here on the front and the headlines. All right, so let's call that the 70% rule and uh, have a focal point. The next part is to focus on three lines. All right, so for your car, you're gonna wanna focus on three particular lines, and those are the ones that are going to make your design distinct, right? Because what you're doing, remember from other videos, is you're going to draw and then flip it over and then draw and flip it over and keep on going like that. So let me just give a quick example um, of what I mean, right? So if I'm kind of working on a quick car here, maybe it's, um, I honestly don't know what this is. Maybe it's some sort of weird um, futuristic bubble van car thing. Wow, looks like a uh, looks like a centipede. Um, bubble car. Let's call it the centipede bubble car. But um, essentially you can see like where are the where are the really unique lines in this. Okay, you can see the the kind of shape that's that's emerging here and you know this could be a headlight, maybe an intake and it's very swoopy, um, kind of ugly. Like I get it. It's it's ugly. So what? So what? Alright, so um, but look look at this line right here, right? This is definitely a key distinguishing line. I think this one right here where the you're kind of expecting a hood and it comes around like that, that's a distinct line. And this little intake thing here is a distinct line. So I'm just gonna highlight those in red because I think knowing where your really unique angles are, this is what makes, this is the important part of your quick sketch. Your quick sketch is really meant to highlight what are the distinguishing elements to this car. Now let's keep going on the um, on the other side of things, right? If I if I have a specific focal point, I think in this case I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so I'm going to do my focus point here. I'm going to put some kind of like bubble thingy here. Do a little headlights. Looks like a little. Mouth, I actually don't like that. We'll do something like that. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna bring in with my um, with my dark. Um, this is a 90% warm gray. This top part is just gonna be, um, you know, glass. So I'm gonna do something like that. Um, the actual car is gonna be red. So I'm gonna do some preliminary marker work like this. Bring it around. And now, remember, our chalk. So I'm gonna just throw down a, a little bit of chalk, just the two particular colors for today. We're gonna bust out a little bit of a uh, little bit of red and a little bit of black get my weaver pad and you know once once you're already set up you're gonna blaze through this a lot faster um, but you know here's here's the part about the focal point right so I'm gonna keep it here just kind of send it out that way see how I did that so this is my focal point here and granted I'm getting it all over the wheels I'll just erase that 
All right, and let's do the same thing for the um, for the black part up here for the windows. Now here you can see I'm not getting like a real great result because this is like cheap art store paper. This isn't like the really good stuff that that I like to use that you've seen in some of my some of my other videos. Um, but now what I want to do now that I've got that basic part, I can spend a little bit of time doing details. You know, here, get these wheels done. Um, but you can you can be sure that when I um, do a little bit of the highlights and things like that, I'm definitely going to spend most of my time on that front wheel and uh, on these front headlights. Like that. Maybe we will just indicate here. There's door lines. And then for the wheels, wheels can always be tricky. I mean, you, you guys have seen my other videos. You know, you know the routine, and I know your challenges when it comes to the comes to the wheels. And you know, I think the thing with drawing cars fast is don't focus on those shapes. Don't go back and do too much editing. You're basically trying to pull out the distinguishing shape char characteristics from your car um, or from elements of your of your design. In this case, it's five bubble. Uh, holes with a kind of inset center part like that and then this really unique bubble top is the other unique factor okay so now if we're at this point I may want to go in here and do a little detail work with my um, with my white pencil and if you've seen some of my other videos you'll see there there's definitely a place for for a white pencil um also if you have the opportunity and you want to do a little bit of um you know just some extra colored pencil work but you know we're a couple minutes in and uh i haven't really done anything on the back but what i want to do now just to illustrate the sort of um the focal point idea is uh you know i'll just go back here and, and just kind of illuminate those particular um, parts to it, but I'm not really going to do much rendering. In fact, I may just take my chalk and just do something like that. And then instead of using the, the dark gray that I was using, I may use a lighter gray and just go back and partially fill in some. See how I did that? And then this is the obviously the the wheel so that's an illustration of how I might use the 70% rule and you can see like here the 70% focus is right on this tire and now if I did want to go back and use my gouache highlights and do it on here um, you know we could easily do something like that right up here if you are continuing to rendering or you just want to add a quick shadow and I have another video um, you know just about shadows but it's easy to kind of make it feel finished but without having to do all that rendering and detail work on the back. Does that make sense? So here's your 70% zone. Here's the fadeaway because this is your focal point right here. And you saw my three distinguishing lines. It's this kind of swoopy shape here. It's this swoopy shape here. And it's this here. Also, P.S., I don't think car designers actually use the term swoopy shape, but uh, you know what? I don't care because uh, I use the word swoopy shape. So that's it for today. That's a little example on how to draw cars fast. So uh, show me what you got and let's see, uh, let's see how it's working for you. All right, later.